Hey you guys, today we're gonna make some homemade cornbread using freshly milled corn and wheat flour. So let's go get started. Okay, I have some baby white popcorn kernels that I got at Rural King. They're non-GMO, which is important. And then I'm going to try this Kamut. It's an ancient grain. I think that's how you pronounce it because uh, it's a lower protein and that typically works better in these kind of recipes, I find. So let me measure out. I figured what I'd do is we need a cup of cornmeal and a cup of um, the wheat. So I'm just going to do, I'm going to uh, mill them at the same time and see if I need to put them back through a second time to get them finer. So I'm going to do that. It's going to be pretty loud. So I'm going to turn off the volume while I do this. That is done. So I'm gonna mix this. So this is equal parts of the cornmeal and the the uh, Kamut wheat berries. And that's what it looks like. Okay, I only need two cups of this for the recipe. So I'm just gonna measure two cups. into my bowl. And then the rest of this I will put in a jar and use it for something else. So now for the rest of the dry ingredients. So we have a cup of cornmeal, a cup of flour. We are going to put in spoon of baking powder and I put it over this little mesh or a sieve whatever you call this just to kind of get out any lumps that might be in there okay and we need about a teaspoon of salt and last but not least third cup of sugar. I've tried making this without the sugar and eh, I just I don't like it so definitely love the sugar. And whisking it right now before you add the wet ingredients actually uh, helps when you go to, to mix the wet ingredients in so that you don't overdevelop any kind of gluten in the batter. All right, got the oven preheating at 425 and I'm going to melt the stick of butter in the cast iron skillet. This is a 10 inch cast iron skillet. So if you, you can use a 10 inch, you can use a bigger one, a smaller one, um, however big your skillet is will determine how thick your crust is. So if you want a thicker crust, use a smaller skillet. While the butter's melting, let's go ahead and get our eggs cracked. We need two eggs. And 
I like to just use a whisk or a fork or something to kind of break the yolks up. Okay, I'm going to start out with just one cup of buttermilk. I'll use more if I need it. Because I'm using like this um, home ground cornmeal and flour, I don't know exactly how much moisture or liquid it's going to need. So we're just going to start out with that. Okay. So I did this backwards. I put my dry ingredients in my big bowl, I mean my little bowl, and my wet in my big bowl. It's supposed to be the opposite. So you always want to pour your um, wet into your dry. So let's see if I can do this without making a big mess. Okay, here I go. All right, that wasn't too bad. It's just so you don't make a big old, you know, splash when you do that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start to get this incorporated before I add the butter. Um, and I can already see that it's, it's pretty thick. So I'm gonna get the butter in and see what the thickness is and then I will adjust if necessary. All right, so I'm gonna turn that off. Grab the gloves. And I'm going to very carefully pour most of it. I think I left about probably at least two, if not three tablespoons of butter in the pan. Just kind of swish that around. Okay. So after I get this mixed in, I'll tell you if I'm going to add any more buttermilk. Okay. It's still a little bit dry for me. I'm going to put some more in. That is actually about one and a quarter cups. All right, let's get it in the pan. All right, so I am going to make it to where you can see it. Go in. it around evenly. You see all that butter getting on the sides? That is going to be so nice and make the edges so nice and crispy and golden yum. Okay, so let's get this in the oven and we're going to bake it at 425 for about 20 to 25 minutes probably. We'll check it around the 20 minute mark. It's ready. Let's take this out and see how yummy it is. Oh, it smells amazing. Look at that. Now that looks like a really, really good cornbread. So let's take it out and see what it tastes like. First piece is always the hardest to get out, right? looks amazing. Hopefully you can see that. Yum! I'm sure you can see the steam coming off of that. Okay, so I am about to heat up my white chicken chili verde that we canned up the other day and we are going to taste this. Yeah, that's good. 
that's really really good so I'll definitely be doing that again it has like a really strong corn flavor to it stronger than you know the, the cornmeal you get already made mm. it's not too fine it's not too coarse it's kind of right in between it's not cake like or anything but it's not too dense either and like I said if you cook this in a smaller skillet it would be uh, taller so depending on how you like your cornbread and look at the bottom of it oh isn't that what we want so this is the chicken chili verde that we canned up and I will make sure that you get the link to that okay um, gotta dunk that cornbread mm, oh my goodness no that is so good this is amazing so you guys if you have a way to mill your own grains at home it's definitely worth it you can save money by buying in bulk and you know the taste is just like super super fresh um, now that I know that we're actually going to mill our own corn for cornbread and things like that I'm gonna go ahead and buy some in bulk and the place that I get my stuff from is a uh, more local to me they actually are where i used to live which is woodstock georgia and they sell in bulk just about any grain that you could think of so the next time i go there i'm going to pick some up um, as well as some more wheat berries now i use a uh, kamut i think it's how you pronounce it in this recipe it's an ancient grain and uh I want to try this in sourdough. So I picked up two pounds of einkorn, two pounds of spelt, and then I've got this kamut and I'm gonna do like a test between all of them and see which one that we like best because there's a, a pretty big price difference between all three of them. Um, the einkorn for 42 pounds was like $150, spelt was 100, and then this kamut was 75. So I'm kind of hoping that we like this one the best because it's just the least expensive. But we'll see. Um, it's really going to depend on how it tastes and how easy it is to work with. So if you have been using Ancient Grains, let us know what your thoughts are. Um, again, this one was delicious with this cornbread. And if you don't have a grain mill or you can't mill your own grains, you can use just use a cup of cornmeal and a cup of all-purpose flour in place of, you know, the freshly milled. But anyway, you guys try this recipe and let us know what you think in the comment section below. And until next time, bye.